Welcome back to the Super Coach Nuff channel. In this video, we're going to review round 22 of the 2024 NRL fantasy season. Um, so I guess, you know, a pretty good week in the end for us with 958, um, which was about 8,000th for the round and has seen a sneak up to about 8,000th overall. So from round 21, yes, 8,009 and then into 8,002. So Green arrow moving in the right direction, which we uh, love to see. So, uh, if we have a look at the, the team and how it went, so Harry Grant with an 81 was an excellent return. Uh, Fennel Blake with 39 was a bit underwhelming, but uh, we had Mitch Barnett with the 66, so that's a great score for him. Uh, Isaiah Yeo with 58, solid as ever. Uh, and speaking of solid, 54, 52 from our edges, Clow Matungi and Fafita. Uh, so Captain Cleary this week got us uh, 79 points. Um, I think a late try sort of helped boost his uh, score there, which was nice. Um, Jamal Fogarty with a 44. Um, uh, he didn't see the game, even though it was against the Dogs, but um, I guess given Payne Haas uh, went off injured during the game, uh, we can probably suggest that that move... Um, was good, and I guess you compound that with uh, another injury, which we'll touch on in a second. Um, Isaac Tungo with 51, finally getting a, a try. He hasn't had one for a while, so it's good to see him get over the stripe. Jacob Carraz with a 45. You know, he's just doing his thing every week. Um, Jai Gray was outstanding with 77 points. Um, so, you know, he's made quite a bit of money. Unfortunately, we don't have any uh, trades left to do anything with that. <laughs> but that's how it goes at this time of year. Uh, and Tedesco and, and Tabuai Fido with a pair of 29s. I did see someone else had the other guy with 29. Nice little bit of symmetry on their back line. Uh, on the bench, you know, solid contributions from all with Reed Money on 39. Current 42. And under a bit of an injury cloud, he's been pretty banged up, but... I think at the moment they just need him to play and he's the sort of character that will just keep playing through. Uh, Braden Trinder with 42, but looks like he might have a hamstring injury. So I guess, you know, even better that we brought in Fogarty given um, we probably need the cover. Uh, Hands with a 52 as well is an awesome return. You know, we were a bit skeptical on keeping him in the squad. Uh, we just ran out of trades, but, uh, you know, that's fantastic that we can get that contribution out of him. Uh, the only other one was Fainu, who scored a three and got a concussion. So he won't be available this week. Um, I think we can scrape through without. Um, or we might not be able to. We might be sort of praying for Dylan Edwards to come in and, and maybe just as importantly for Latrell Mitchell to stay out. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, actually, before we talk about this coming week, let's have a look at the league and... I think we're getting into the, the final sort of territory, but um, a great win for myself over Helen Keller's optometrist. Just give yourself a pump up there. Um, so 95 for Damien Cook is outstanding. Um, I guess just the lack of Cleary and the captaining Haas stings as well um, for you there, Adam. Just, I, was, I thought it was Adam. I just had to go back and confirm. Um, but other than that, you know, pretty well matched. Again, Jaden Campbell getting out pointed by Gray. Um, it's not ideal. Um, but then Tom Starling with 63 on the bench is nice. Also benching the likes of Finu, McLean and Tungo, that, and even Talangi with a 54. You know, that would have been pretty handy in and around your, uh, your back line there. Um, but I guess we can have a look at uh, the other games. And then we'll talk about the finals. Um, oh, so I can see Wes, uh, Fantasy Wannabes, getting a ton, or a gorilla, I should say, a thousand and nine. So well done, Wes. I'll have to have a look at your video to, to see how, how you've gone. But, uh, you know, had Grant, Yo, very similar team to mine, which I like. <laughs> Must have had something strong at the back here. Yeah, so drink water is 69. He's got Starling as well, played hands. Got Finu's 61 as well, so that's super handy, doing the little loop. Um, surely you would have wanted that over, you know, whatever Arthur's produced anyway, but there you go. 
so well played. And uh, I guess as as you could sort of see when I went back to the fixtures, we do have the the finals set up. So not quite as fancy as um, Super Coach where you can see the sort of bracket, but I'm pretty sure we're I'm in the fifth, so versus eighth, which is Vermal. Um, Wepo's winners and Big Keith, I think they were top four, so they're in a uh, qualifying final. And also, I think uh, Team Gibbon and Helen Keller's optometrist. So I think those two are the, the qualifying finals, and then we've got the elimination finals here. So I might just do a little... Uh, actually, let's do a preview of all of them. We'll go with us last. Why not? So Wepo's winners and Big Keith. So just having a look at how the, the squads line up. So in, interesting sort of, I guess, uh, forward packs with uh, Marnie and Grant. Again, Grant could be on the bench. I don't know. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> um, but the middles, you've got Tarpany and Kyle Matangi against Fanua Blake and Yo. Obviously, Pat Carrigan being common there. Uh, Angus Crichton on the bye. So who's going to potentially come in on the edge? It looks like uh, Fainu. I guess, you know, even if El uh, Curran gets elevated, then Fainu would come in. So we'll just put Fainu in there. So the way Fainu went last week, it could be the way to go. Both got clear in, both captained him last week, so it could come down to Hughes and Fogarty. You imagine they'd be fairly similar. Uh, White and Nero, so matching in the centres. And then wing fullback, so again with Tedesco out for um, Weppo. Um, you, you'd imagine Ruben Garrick could come straight back in from the concussion. Also got Weeks or Rapana that could be used uh, potentially. So I think, you know, a bit of cover there. And I guess this might be where it comes down to the point of difference in the uh, the wing fullbacks. So pretty interesting there. Uh, we'll have a look at Team Given 1 and um, Helen Keller's optometrist. So Damien Cook and Tom Starling in the, the hooker. So I um, don't know if there's any other cover at hooker. Oh, Con they both got Connor Watson who's on the bye. So that's interesting. I, he's one I haven't really looked at, but I know he's done pretty well this year. So uh, Adam with uh, Payne Haas, obviously uh, you'd hope he's got a trade there for that. But uh, if not, uh, looks like maybe Nicker is slotting in or Finey again, you know, coming out of the reserves, uh, slotting in there. Although needs a bit of cover for... Um, so I guess you got Nikara and or even Udikamanu can slide up in there. So it might be you know, a little bit down on troops this week. Brown and Hughes against Hughes and Fogarty. So two that have gone without Cleary. Don't know if that's because of lack of trades or just uh, running the, the gauntlet on the pod. <laughs> but uh, Brown against Fogarty. I, I personally like Fogarty, but uh, we'll see. Also, the edges are, are, are different as well. Preston and Fafita, Katoa. And Klamatangi, why he could push up. So I do like Jacob Preston as a point of difference um, going in the run home. Uh, both got Kale Iro, so Jack White and Dan Gagai. You know, based on pass form, you'd take Gagai, but White and playing at 5 8 does give him a little bit of a boost, which is nice. And then they've both got Jaden Campbell, so Drinkwater and Turbo against Ponga and someone to be determined. Probably looks like Talangi would be the man if there's no trades. So with uh, Tedesco, Haas and Watson out this week, uh, might be a tough one there, Adam. Hopefully you got some trades up your sleeve. If not, uh, I'll back Paul in there. <laughs> um, so Mamke Mania and Parabeast, this would be the first elimination final. Uh, it's got Reese Robson, Damien Cook. So, you know, uh, the way Cook's been going, I'd sort of lean towards him. Both got Haas to replace. So in terms of current troops, both got Tedesco to replace as well. Um, so I guess Sorensen would have to go into the middle uh, for, I can't remember who's who, Para Beast. Um, and Max Plath could slide up. You got Fino as well, so... Probably better off, uh, better coverage here for uh, Mamke Mania, although Angus Crichton has to be uh, covered as well. Uh, both got Cleary, you know, so I think, you know, Fogarty probably has the edge over 
Lockie Galvin. So different halves, Eero and White, seems pretty popular combo, uh, fairly cheap. And then the alternate cheap ones that have come up, the Hammer and Tungo. I guess having both of them, I do like them. Um, and then Pappenhausen against Kiraz, again, a bit biased, but I like Kiraz. And just looking at who can cover Tiny. Um, Tom Travojevic and Ruben Garrick to come in here for... Um, Power of Beast, so I think on, on the balance I'm leaning towards Power of Beast, but, you know, again, I wouldn't uh, write anything off there. Uh, and then myself and uh, Vimal, Titanic 2024. So Dylan Walker out is interesting, Crichton out, so who would he have? Uh, so Plath and Preston would probably slot up, and then Looks like Pahulu, Sipley, or McLean. It's probably McLean on the bench at some stage. Um, Fogarty and Cleary in the half, so we're matched there, which is okay. What and Nero again, showing up fairly regularly. You know, I'll back my boys in there. <laughs> and we've both got Jai Gray, which is interesting. Atkinson could be really interesting, uh, particularly given Trindle might be injured. So a bit scared of Atkinson this week. And Campbell, you know, he is showing he can go big. Also got Jerome Hughes sitting on the bench with, you know, my my sort of match in Trindle is injured. So we do have Tommy Turbo to cover for Teddy. And like I said, I might be relying on one more. <laughs> um, but we'll see how we go. Actually, I might not. Oh, yeah, because... Got four injuries and Tedesco on by. So it might just be that I run out of troops on my bench. <laughs> so, you know, I was, I was bagging Pahulu and Sipley, but uh, they could be match winners if they actually play. So, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how it pans out this week. Um, like I said, in terms of my team, it was always going to be Teddy back in. I'll turbo back in for Teddy this week out. Um, but I wasn't anticipating Trindle getting injured. I guess, you know, this is, again, I, I did the trade last week. In reality, should have held. But uh, this is supposed to be a bit more of a fun exercise than anything else. So <laughs> I've, uh, I've gone and used it. Um, yeah, so I guess, you know, I might just be we, we pump up uh, Dill. Hopefully he's back this week. As I said, if Latrell's back, it probably means that Gray misses out, which isn't ideal for us. But... I guess it's that time of year these things happen so um yeah it's probably just going to look something like that eh? <laughs> uh don't need to change the captaincy i don't think you know clear against power should be a nice match up and then the raiders at home you know i'll back Fogarty to do pretty well as well but um i guess we can wrap the video up there so as always, if you've got any questions, comments, thoughts, feel free to add them below this video. Give us a, a thumbs up, a like if you enjoy the NRL fantasy content. Um, subscribe for all the fantasy sports content on the channel. And other than that, we'll catch you in the next one.